Let's go, let's go, DGR. Ankle strength, all right? That is the name of the game today. Increasing power and suppleness with these exercises, okay? We're diving right in. And today, I want you to focus on the ankles specifically, mentally, not just the quads, the hammies. You will be working those. So first of all, the ankle tilts. Love these. You're gonna work on your balance as well. It's not as easy as it might look here on the screen. Two by 15 for the reps, okay? All right, focus on those ankles. Number two, here we go. Ankle kicks. This is probably my hardest one because I have tight hips and I, this definitely works on those hips as well. Two by 10 reps each leg, okay? Soak it in. Whew, it's a worker. But again, mentally, I want you to focus on the ankles, not the quads, not the hamstrings, not the calves, just that ankle flexion, as it's called. So you're rocking kind of back and forth there. Next, the ice skaters. Yep, these are not the dynamic ones. These are just, you know, nice and easy, a little slower than the dynamic, but back and forth, again, focused on that ankle flexion, specifically, the leg that is in the back, okay? The one in the front, you are working it, but it's the one in the back that I want you to just kind of stretch out that soleus. And next up, the dips. So you're getting up on your toes and you can hold it for one or two seconds, okay? I do a pretty good job here. Not saying I'm in the best shoes for this, the, uh, the carbon fiber shoes here but you're going down, you're dipping down, and then getting up on your toes, holding it for one or two seconds, and then dipping back down. You'll definitely be working on your balance with these ankle dips. Here we go, these are fun, all right? The aerial feet taps, okay? Watch, make sure you have good footing, jumping up in the air and just tapping those feet. And again, it's the landing and the push-off that I want you to focus on mentally. Once again, just that ankle, you'll feel it, especially on the outside of the ankles. If you're prone to rolling your ankles, this is a good one to work on. And here we go. Oh man, this one's not easy. Stationary knee crawl, okay? You put your arms up on your head, and then you, you get down on your knees, and then back up. You can alternate legs, do it for 30 seconds. And if you need to get on the grass or a softer surface, I understand because your knees will be touching that ground a little bit and you'll feel it. And last but not least, my favorite mountain climbers. I do these every day for 30 seconds, just stretching out the soleus and that fascia on the bottom of the feet, but also those ankles. Woo! And there you have it. Great work there, DGR. You did it. Nice and easy, nothing too crazy. Um, should take you about four to five minutes to get it all done. But again, focusing on the ankle strength today for suppleness and power. As a runner, question of the day, there you go. Have you ever had an ankle injury? How did you overcome it? Okay, I know I've rolled my ankle many a time. And that comment of the day, midlife runner, thank you so much for tuning in. I add one core exercise a day at the end of strength work and training. Thank you, Midlife Runner, for sharing. And there you have it. We'll toss it to yesterday's vlog right there, right there, right there. All right, come on, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.